Hi everyone, I'm Lily Wilkinson and I'm super excited to learn that you guys are reading my new book, The Erasure Initiative. I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about the trolley problem um, and I don't know if you've read the book yet, but if you haven't, it's a thriller about a girl who wakes up on a self-driving bus with no memory of how she got there or who she is. But one of the things that is sort of a big part of the book is this idea of the trolley problem. And if you don't know it, the trolley problem is this. You're on a trolley, or in this book, you're on a bus, and the bus is driving down a road. And in front of you on the road, there are five people, five strangers. The bus will not stop. It will hit these five people and they will die. On the bus, there's no brakes, but there is a lever. And if you pull the lever, the bus will turn off onto a side road where there is only one person. So your choice is do nothing and five people will die, or pull the lever and one person will die. And I think this problem is in that sort of most purest form, not very interesting, but it becomes a lot more interesting when we mess with it a little bit. A little bit. So you could ask, um, you could say that the five people on the track in front of you are criminals, five convicted criminals, and the one person is a young pregnant mother. It could be five complete strangers, or it could be your mother. It could be 10 cats or 10 dogs. What would you choose? Cats or dogs? What if it was all of the chocolate in the world on one road and all of the pizza in the world on the other road? Which one would you choose? I think I'd have to destroy all of the pizza. What if it was Chris Hemsworth on one road or Chris Pratt on the other? I'm definitely choosing to save Hemsworth on that one. Anyway, I really love coming up with lots of weird trolley problems to um, uh, foist upon my friends. And some of them are really, really hard to think about, really, really hard decisions to make. But um, I hope you guys come up with some interesting ones of your own. And I really hope you enjoy reading The Erasure Initiative. Thanks very much.